Okay, so I realized in my video the other day, breaking down how I use my launch control, I realized I made a mistake of omission where I forgot to explain how I get my button on my launch control to light up when the click is on or off, you know, uh, in Ableton. Because for whatever reason, when you turn on this click button, uh, it doesn't send any data to my MIDI controller. Um, I don't know if this is true for every MIDI controller, but I do know it's true for this one, no matter what button. So let's go into our MIDI mapping mode here, Command M, and I'm gonna map it to this button, right? If I turn it on and off, it works in Ableton, but it's not, it's not lighting up right here. So let's try a different button, just for the heck of it. Let's try this button right here. Turning on and off, not lighting up. So we need a workaround for that. We need a little solve for that. So what I do is I have a blank audio track or a blank MIDI track. It doesn't matter. Let's just use this, this MIDI track. So it'll be our only thing right now. And what I do is I map the same button that I want to control my click on my controller to the speaker on and off button on that blank MIDI track or that blank audio track. And that is what is gonna fool our MIDI controller, our launch control here into lighting up for us. So Command M, MIDI map again, let's put it back on what I use, which is this button right here. And then boom, that button right there, come back and it's lit up for us. And boom, as we toggle it on and off, it lights up, which is great. So that's my workaround for that. So sorry, I forgot to mention in my last video, but if you're wondering what video I'm talking about, you can check that out right here where I just break down how I use the Novation Launch Control when I'm playing Keys Live and uh, how I integrate it with Ableton. So anyway, thanks again for watching. So sorry I forgot to explain. Hope this helps and have a great day.